Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and as I promised, I'm back now on YouTube and now we are going to start this React tutorial series and we're going to build this portfolio website that I have in here and I actually got this uh, portfolio website from this bootstrap free team or something. This is a free team that you can get online. So yeah, basically we're going to start from the completely ground up like you don't know any React at all, all right? Uh, if you don't know too much about like cla how classes work in uh, JavaScript and everything, I actually did some videos before. So you you can go like before these videos, there's like two or three videos I did with React with the JavaScript classes. So you can understand a little bit better how they work here in um, in React. Okay, so let's get started with this uh, as well just for my for all my students and for anyone who wants to become my student i'm actually now offering react projects as well as part of my mentorship so if you guys are interested just send me an email and we we can take it from there all right so let's start doing this and first of all in order for you to um, install and create your react app locally on your computer you need to install node okay so just go to the just go to google and type node.js you go inside of node.js and just download it and install it it's very very straightforward and not hard at all okay once you have done this uh just open your command line i'm opening the windows powershell because i'm using windows and i'm going to type in here node space dash v this is just to make sure that i have node installed on my computer okay and as you guys can see in here i have the v6.11.5 maybe when you are installing yours is going to be newer it doesn't matter as long as you have it in here now working okay um so after you have installed node we need to install react in our computer in order to be available for us to create our <laughs> react application right so you have to type in in here like this npm start oh sorry not npm start npm install create dash react dash app okay and dash g which stands for globally so you want to install this globally on your computer okay so if you press enter i'm not going to do it because I, i've already installed this on my computer just press enter and this will install react globally on your computer okay you will see a message of success so i'm just going to delete these now and i'm gonna go to the folder let me go in here this is the folder where i want to install now my react application okay and for you to install your react application you just have to put create create dash react dash app oh sorry this is this is a, my mistake first of all look in here where i am with my command line i am in c users tell some file and this is not where i want to install my react application okay i want to install my react application in this folder in here that i just created and this folder is in here in this path c users tell some file in my document inside of my web dev projects inside of react okay so i'm going to copy these with Control c because i have this highlighted you can also type these manually if you want to i'm going here to my command line and i'm going to type cd which stands for change directory and i'm going to press Control v to paste this in and if i press enter look it's going to give me an error but now I'm going to press my arrow up on the keyboard to put this again so I don't have to type it again. And as you can see, for example, in here where it says Telmo Sampaio or where it says in here in Web Dev Projects, there is some spaces between the letters. That's why it was giving us some errors. 
Now, if I put in here these between double quotes, look, double quotes between Telmo Sampaio and Web Dev Projects. Now I press enter. Now I'm inside. Okay. See user Telmo Sampaio documents Web Dev Projects React. Okay. I'm going to put LS to display everything that I have inside of this folder and look at the names of the folders that I have in here. React Empty Project, React Portfolio, Portfolio One, Project Movies. And this is the same as I have in here on the side. So it means that we are in the right, right folder where I want to create my React apps. Okay, so now to create the React app, I just go in here and I do create dash React dash app and space. I'm going to give it whatever name I want. I'm going to give it, for example, React dash port folio and I could press enter and now this react application would be started okay I'm not going to do it because I already created in here on the side uh, but you can do it and press enter and you will see like like this installing should take like a minute or less de depending on on how fast your internet is okay um, once this is installed you will see in here the folder with the name of your uh, project that you just created. So for example, I did for this one, the create react portfolio. If I'm going inside, there will be these files and folders. First of all, we have in here a node modules. If I go inside in here, there will be a lot of dependencies that they are needed in order for your application to run. If you are not sure and you don't know too much about all of these dependencies, don't go inside of here and don't change anything because you will break your react application because you basically you don't need to change anything in here okay just leave it as it is then we have our public folder where we have our index.html this is where all, where react will load all our components that we will create okay and if i press if i double click on this to open you will actually not see anything in here. You see it's completely empty. That's because React needs to be compiled with, with the Node.js and with all these dependencies that we just installed. Okay, that's why you can't just go in here and just double click and open it. Okay, let's just open quickly like what we have in here. I'm going to put this inside of my Visual Studio code. And we have in here just a simple index.html. I'm just going to get rid of all these comments because I don't need them. I'm going to get rid of all these comments and I don't need this no script. And as you can see, look, this is a fairly simple HTML page and there is nothing in here. There is just a div completely empty, a div with the ID of root. We have a title and that's it. There is nothing inside. But our actually our files where they are getting really like the information and everything is inside of this folder in here called SRC. OK, and if I go in here, for example, inside of this app.javascript and I'm going to open this inside. Look, welcome to react to get started, edit whatever so this is basically where we will be editing our code okay and how we will see things showing up so in order to see our react application and how does it look like at the moment we need to go to our windows command line or or, or on your command line on the mac whatever you are using uh, first of all, we need to go inside of the project that we just created because in here, as you can see, I'm still inside of this folder called React where I have all my projects, okay, that I created. I want to go cd change directory inside of my React dash portfolio, portfolio, okay? So now, look, I'm inside there. And I'm going to put npm start and I'm going to press enter. So this is going to start our local server with the node.js. And look, here is our 
our completely React application that we just installed. And this is this is what is going to get get us started. Okay, look in here, all this file. Welcome to React. And if I go in here, welcome to React. To get started, edit source app.js and save to reload. Look at this. To get started, edit. Uh huh. And uh, I'm going. I'm going to put in here, for example, instead of welcome to React, welcome to my React portfolio. I'm going to save this. Look at this. Now, because the server is running with Node.js, I actually don't need to refresh my page anymore like I was doing in my previous uh, tutorials. So if I'm going to open this up, look. The page is already reloaded. I don't have to do anything. Look, welcome to my React portfolio. Uh, I'm going to put in here, for example, this, this is a tutorial by Telmo Sampaio. Let me save this with Control S, or you can just like file save in here. And if I'm going to open the page again, this is a tutorial by Talmo Sampaio. Look, I don't have even to refresh the page. This is how cool it is with React. Okay, so this is just the first video. I don't want to make these videos like too long so you guys don't have to lose a lot of time. You can watch whenever you want. Um, so yeah, this was just the beginning, how you can install your React application and how you can see the files and everything. So. I hope you guys will enjoy this series. Let me know in the comments down below if you are enjoying this or not. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.